Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for Electronica. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use digital audio editing software not only to control modules in Electronica, but also the BPM and transport controls. In this tutorial, I'll be using Ableton Live, but the principle is essentially the same for any software which supports MIDI out. As with the previous video, you'll need a way to send MIDI from your application to Electronica. For this, I'll be using Loop MIDI. See the previous video in this series for more information on Loop MIDI. The first thing we need to do is to configure our DAE software to send MIDI to Electronica. Open the configuration window and enable MIDI out for loop MIDI. In Ableton, we do this by enabling track MIDI out. Track data consists of MIDI notes and CC values sent by tracks in the project. You can also use Ableton to control the BPM and transport controls in Electronica which are the master play and stop buttons. If you want to do this, you also need to enable sync out for loop MIDI. In Electronica, make sure the loop MIDI is selected as the MIDI in device. Now click on the selector above the BPM display and select external MIDI clock as the clock source. The BPM and transport controls will now be controllable from Ableton. So if I set the BPM in Ableton to 130 and press the master play button, you'll see that the BPM in Electronica is now 130 and the master play button is pressed. This doesn't prevent the transport buttons in Electronica from functioning, but note that this isn't a two-way connection. Pressing the Electronica master stop button won't stop playback in Ableton. From here, there are several ways that you can proceed depending on what you want to achieve and how you usually use your DAE. I'm not going to get into too much detail about how to use Ableton here, as there are many different ways and workflows you can use. As a simple example, you can create the MIDI track and set its output to loop MIDI. Then add notes or CC values to this clip and they'll be passed on to Electronica. You can use clips to send program change messages by selecting the clip view here and then selecting the program you want to load from this drop-down box here. You have to click and drag to change the number. As a word of advice, in my experience, it's better to use as few MIDI channels as possible to communicate with Electronica, because using more than one channel may cause lag. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, and post any questions in the comments below or on the Facebook group. Thanks for watching.